Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live right now in Atlanta at the Sweetwater Brewery with Takenobu. Thank you very much for joining us, Nick and Catherine. Yeah, thanks for having <laughs> us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, this is the sound check has been an absolute delight, and uh, we can't wait wait to share a lot of your music with our audience right now. We're going to hear four songs, two of them are from the record Conclusion. Um, we're hearing one from the brand new record as well. Uh, Always leave a note. Congratulations, by the way, that came out just a month. Thank you. Yeah, a month just, ago or so. Yep, just last um, month. And uh, and a fourth one as well. What do you feel like doing first today? I think we're going to do Nobody Said uh, from our album Conclusion. things that really mattered and 
get that back now. I wanna get that back. Nobody said it'd be easy. Nobody said it would be. Got by the government's Kashi. Eat all we don't, I hate you. Nobody said it'd be easy. Nobody said. Thank you. Man, this sounds tremendous in this room. I hope that you guys are having fun playing this yeah, music. It sounds wonderful out here. Um, yeah. Can you think of any other environment that you've been in that has had even approaching this much natural decay and, uh, and <sighs> reverb a, in it? No, it's tough other to think. Other than your shower, maybe? We did yeah. play, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. We played in a cathedral in Seattle one time that had close to this i don't know for some reason it's just so long i think yeah. it's the mm -hmm. the beer curing cavern back there that just <laughs> has that long tail yeah we had considered shooting potentially that direction but it was even more more uncontrollable that way audio wise yeah, but this sure. sounds delightful man this yeah, music this is very well suited to the way this room this sounds so thank you thank you for coming here and um this is the most atlanta thing that we've done you much like paste magazine much like sweetwater brewery are atlanta originals so this is a very atlanta centric day um can you talk a little bit about the way that the community has supported you here and some of the artists that you can continue to cross paths with um, and, and help, help yeah. put your music out there or artists who you've been able to support in turn. Totally, yeah. Uh, we love playing at Eddie's Attic in Decatur and uh, Catherine's super involved with the classical music scene here. Yeah, um, I play with the Atlanta Opera and the Atlanta Ballet. She's playing there tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've played with the ATL Collective folks who are really great. That's right, yeah. um, some really cool, talented musicians there. And uh, we know, yeah. Some really cool people in the scene. We know Kishibashi too. We've played with him on tour. He's from Athens though. And uh, hmm. it's just that a counts. cool, cool scene. <laughs> yeah, cool, man. Yeah, I've always, I mean, I just got back, got here into town from uh, from New York on Tuesday, but it always feels like a very welcoming place. I mean, I've always had a blast. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, this is the coolest job possible. We're in a brewery, having beers in front of playing the, tunes. you guys are creating music man this is just this is wonderful so thank you for making it wonderful and um our pleasure. there's more music to be shared and what do you guys feel yeah. like doing second today yeah we're gonna play another song off of our record conclusion called swing trees and um the story behind it is in the lyrics i guess not much to say besides just playing it mm -hmm. um but yeah we uh we're psyched to do this because we haven't been able to play live in two years yeah so we're a little nervous, but uh, this is welcome fun. back. Do you this want a beer? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> it helps. After afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be my reward. So yeah, swaying trees. One, two, ready, go. Oh wait, sorry. One, two, ready.
wanting somewhere else With no sense of self Sings its babbling song The mountain pack is gone With spring and summer sun The snow melt will run Over wintered moss sounds wonderful. It's a song has a very epic feeling about it. I feel like Thanks. time to go on a quest now or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot um, to mention I live when the neighborhood we live in has like some of the tallest trees in Atlanta. So that's also yeah. the inspiration for that. This is the city song. in the forest. Yeah, city so. in the forest. Yeah. Yeah. It certainly looks that way when flying, when landing, it's mm -hmm. like, where's the city, man? It looks like we're above a forest right yeah. now. Um, we is, so watching you build those loops is fascinating. It's one of my favorite things to watch live musicians do. And cool. I mean, a massive of Reggie Watts fan, that's cool to see that happen. <laughs> and uh, um, is I'm wondering, is that a tool that you use in the studio, or do you, like are you sitting there with a loop pedal and doing it, or are you using studio magic to do things at different times and then layer them upon each other? I use it to write stuff to hash out ideas, but then in the studio, it's it's more just multi-tracking stuff. But I I do it. I record 
we record in a way that is meant to emulate the the loop pedal so right. that it can be so it can translated. Be yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It sounded like um, this time out. Uh, I know we're uh, we're hearing one from Always Leave a Note mm -hmm. next, um, which sounded like there was a lot of there's a learning learning curve and a learning process for you. You learned drums and played yeah, learned, all learned. over this record. Can you talk a little bit about that process? Yeah. So we recorded the. Um, Re most recent album over the past year and a half while we were on lockdown like everybody else and uh, decided to teach myself drums and start recording those as part of the, you know, endless ennui of the <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> days at home. So uh, <laughs> recorded drums for the first time myself. It's not the first time that drums are on the album, any an, an album of ours, but um, first time I'm playing them, so... Hopefully people like those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I appreciate your use of the word ennui. I'm not sure that that has been said on one of these 2,400 broadcasts that we've yeah. ever done. So well done. Yeah, I appreciate well. the vocabulary. And um, we are, we're only halfway through right now. There's still right. much more to be shared with our audience. What are you going to do third today? So we're going to play the song Wild Ride uh, from our new album, Always Leave a Note. It's the first time we've ever played this song. So yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we were supposed to have a tour. Yeah, we we, we were going to play some shows, but uh, we ended up canceling them, unfortunately. But we hope to get back out in the spring. So fresh. Yeah, fresh. And so this is. I'm, I'm glad that we're able to do this, and and it it, it kicked our kicked our butts in gear to <laughs> to figure out how to play this stuff yeah. live. <laughs> so yeah, this is a wild ride. i 
All right, thank you. So that was that was one from the new record, um, and I've uh, been poking around and finding out more about it. Realized that you um, had a, made a, a concerted effort not to have it be a bummer of a record and just recite <laughs> yeah. current events. You know, it, it, the world sucks. We're all in our houses. People are insane. Why would you refuse a vaccine that'll make your grandparents not die? Like all that kind of stuff right. could have gone exactly. that direction, and it tends to be a more a more hopeful album um, as opposed to just reciting literally what's going on in the world. Yep. Um, he, what does that balance process look like? like? Do you immediately recognize when you're writing a song that, uh-oh, maybe this is too literal and on the nose and I'd better make a more abstract version of a feeling as opposed to telling a literal story? Or does, does it go through like an iterative process for you? How does that work? Yeah, I wish I was able to tell right away when I was being too literal, but it, it is sort of more of a listening back process and and, you know, getting more familiar with what I write and then seeing how Catherine responds and how it starts to feel over the course of time and then then revising it. Because it was it was very, you know, we were writing, especially around this time last year, just getting too bogged down in the reality of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and just wanting realizing that, you know, music should be more of a or at least I would like it to be more of an escape for myself and for people listening to it mm -hmm. so there is more hopeful stuff in it you know I, I use the lyric uh, it'll be all right or something some version of that several times in several songs because that was really the feeling I was I was hoping to to feel for myself <laughs> Yeah. Do you, what, how long does it take normally? Do you know? Do you know that, say, six weeks after you've written something and demoed it, that then you can go back and see how it actually affects you and how it makes you feel, or does that time period? There's definitely yeah. Differ? There's definitely like a, a marinating phase where it's just yeah. gotta. I gotta leave it aside and. We, Sometimes it's right up to the moment that. You that's true. It's done. Yeah. Th I mean, this this song was actually the last one to get finished lyrically because it was just. It was hard to lock in the the chorus lyrics, because um, I just felt like, it is, I mean, it, it, you know, it's very much about the feelings of anxiety and feeling how, you know, how to present and how to, you know, how you are inside and outside and how, you, you know, people perceive you. But um, as a result, it's, there's a lot of push and pull <laughs> and uh, <laughs> rewriting. Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you for putting in that much effort into it. It certainly shows. Um, and these Thanks. are wonderful songs, and there's still one more of them to be shared yep. with the audience. What are you going to do fourth today? We're going to do an instrumental now from our uh, album Reversal called Reversing. And uh goes a little something like this. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you very much. How did you feel that went the first first performance in oh, what, felt 18 awesome. months? It felt great. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Good. Liberating. Good. Really? Well, it sounded wonderful. Um, have a great uh, time with your opera pals tonight. Oh, thank Catherine, you. And uh, hopefully we get to drink a fistful of beers and go to Terminal West. Yeah, that sounds Nick, fun. Potentially. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you guys again so much for coming by. Thank you so much thank for you having us. We really, so, so really much. had a great time. All right. Mm -hmm. See you next time. That is that.